Hello, Kurt Bauman here, Music in the Stars. We got a full moon in the sign of Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and check it out. So what we have here is a full moon at two degrees, 55 seconds Sagittarius, meaning it's standing directly opposite the sun at two degrees, 55 seconds Gemini. I'm gonna talk quite a bit about oppositions in this video because not only is the moon opposite the sun, it's also opposite Jupiter, Venus, Uranus right now. So this is gonna be interesting in the sense that oppositions give us an opportunity to tune ourselves. It's looking for adjustments on the soul level, looking for adjustments and modifications to tune and harmonize and bring beauty back into the creative tension that these poles dictate, that these poles are asking for. But before we get to that, let's go back to that full moon in Sagittarius and try to understand a little bit deeper of what it means and what it's telling us. So as y'all know, the moon represents our feelings. It represents our emotional nature. When it's standing full, it gives us an opportunity to see those emotions, to see them reflected out and expressed in the world and expressed out onto those around us. This one in Sagittarius, fire, right? Sagittarius is the third fire sign in the zodiac, meaning Aries, the spark, Leo, the flame, Sagittarius, the coals, right? The wisdom, Sagittarius has been through it. It's the mutable fire sign. It brings up likely a wide variety of feelings and emotions, very expanded, expressive feelings and emotions, likely on a positive level because one of the th main things about Sagittarians is we like to keep things positive. So these feelings and these emotions hopefully are feeling really good and it's, it's asking you to expand into them and go ahead and let them flow, let them be free. It's another key aspect of the Sagittarian nature, freedom. Don't clip the wings of these emotions, let them fly, let them be seen. So interestingly, this full moon is standing opposite Jupiter, the ruling planet of Sagittarius. We always wanna tie these in. Whatever planet is in whatever sign, we always wanna to go to the ruling planet, see where it's at, see what sign it's in, and then tie them all together. Weave the threads of the tapestry, keep the story unfolding. So again, let's review back to what we were just talking about with oppositions. You have one pole here, one pole here, creating creative tension in between the two. So we have the, the lunar pole on this side representing feelings and emotions, and then Jupiter on the other side representing that aspect of ourself that seeks to expand, that seeks to move beyond the borders into higher aspects of ourselves, higher education, higher spiritual plans. Okay, so now, Let's go ahead and tune that, make adjustments between these two poles. How are you feeling in your own spiritual nature? How are you feeling within your own confines of your life? What emotions come up when we talk about things like spirituality? What emotions come up when we talk about things of learning, education, growing, expanding? This is an opportune time to really lean into that and feel into that and then make the necessary adjustments to tune into who you are in those realms. We all have our own path, right? We all have our own steps to walk along the journey and they're unique to us. Oftentimes we, we may bend to the will of others or bend to the feelings of others, but this is, a, this is about you. This is about your feelings and expressing your truth and expanding your emotions, and in this case, in regards to your spiritual life, your higher philosophical, educational, expanded being. These are the things that Jupiter asks us to look at and check out within ourselves. So moving right over to the conjunction between Jupiter and Uranus, meaning we also have polarity of the moon on one side, Uranus on the other, the feelings and emotions tied to Uranus, the aspect of ourself that brings in our higher creative genius. Uranus representing the octave 
of the intellectual mind. Whereas Mercury is down here in, in, our, in our very much communicative intellectual state of being, Uranus taps in to the higher octave of that, bringing down very powerful creative suggestions, bringing down ideas that immensely change the world around you, tapping into those parts of yourself that make you evolve, that make you grow, much like Jupiter in many ways, but Jupiter is more like expanding on a spiritual level, whereas Uranus is expanding on an intellectual level, tapping into creative ideas, tapping into higher aspects of the cosmic mind and bringing them down and rooting them, in this case, in your feelings and emotions. What do your creative ideas make you feel about yourself right now? How do you feel about what it is that is coming through you on a higher intellectual level and potentially creating change in the world around you? Change for the good, change for the positive. Remembering we're tying in the Sagittarian nature to this. Bringing positive aspects, positive feelings to the upper echelons of the intellect. This is something to look at during this full moon. Tie that now into an opposition with Venus, our capacity to socialize, our capacity to love, our capacity to use our hearts, to care for those around us, our capacity to appreciate art, appreciate beauty. How are you feeling about that? What's going on with you these days in that realm? Moon one side, Venus on the other creative tension in between. If you're a creative individual working on art right now, work on the feelings, tune into what it is you're creating and how it makes you feel. And thus, how will that resonate out and make others feel? What is it that you're trying to create? Tie in the higher energies of Uranus into that, moving through your artistic expression. Venus being conjunct Uranus right now, major opportunities for that to come through, major opportunities for creative change to happen in your world. Feel it, express it emotionally. When we add feeling and emotion to whatever it is we're working diligently to manifest, diligently in our creative visualizations, add feeling, add emotion to it, the potency of what is being created becomes so much closer to actual manifestation, so much closer to reality. Charge those visions with this wide variety of expansive feelings and emotions that are happening right now, giving you an opportunity to express yourself on a very high spiritual level, a very high intellectual level, a very present and close, loving, artistic level. So these are what these oppositions are asking us to look at. A lot of feelings, a lot of emotions, but on a very excited level. Shouldn't weigh us down too much. It should be the opposite, really. The Sagittarian nature is, is free and open and flying. It's expressing itself with joy, expressing itself with the wisdom of life, again, the coals of the fire, it's been through the flame. It now rests in the wisdom of the coals. So feel into that, feel into that as this moon is shining and you're out appreciating and swimming in the beauty of that light. Breathe that in, breathe that moon into your being. Think about how it's connected right now to Venus, how it's connected to Jupiter, how it's connected to Uranus. And use that as an opportunity to expand your creative self, to expand your feelings, expand your emotions, and expand your higher genius. And bring it down and manifest it here and now in your life. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being with me. Please hit the like button below, leave a comment below. I do my best to get to those comments and keep the conversation happening. And I'll see y'all in the next video.